Hey guys, this is the word that the Lord gave me concerning 2022, and I want to share it with you. I've been seeking him for the last month or so on what he wants to say about this year. And as I was seeking him, I saw in a closed vision in my spirit a set of keys. And I asked the Lord, what are you showing me? And I heard the Spirit say, this is the year of the key to the open door. And so in the Bible, we know that keys actually symbolize authority. If you look in Matthew 16, 19, Jesus is talking to his disciples and he says, I give you the keys to the kingdom. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. And so this is a year that we are going to operate and walk in that authority from heaven like never before as his church. We're going to see this on a national level as well. And across the world, we're going to see specific leaders that the Lord has anointed to lead in this hour. He's giving them very specific strategic keys to unlock doors that are hiding hidden evil and hidden hidden things that have been hidden for many years. And they're going to unlock them and bring them out to the light. And that is part of the authority the Lord has placed on them to do that. And in the same way, he's going to give them authority and give them keys and revelation how to lock up and shut down things that have been open and had evil that has had just access to reign in the nations that the Lord is going to give them access to lock up in this hour, in this year. So this is a great word for the year. Isaiah 22, 22 speaks really directly to this. It says, I will place on his shoulder the keys to the kingdom of David. Whatever door he opens, no man can shut. And whatever door he shuts, no man can open. And so that is for the nation and also for our personal life. And I I sought the Lord specifically how to encourage you guys to seek him for these keys and what that would look like in our lives. And he gave me a couple ways to seek him for this specifically. Um, he's, he wants us to seek him for keys to understanding our identity. The, the devil has really stolen a lot from us through our, up uh, through our childhood and lies that have been spoken as we've grown up and even in a, into adulthood that have really stolen our understanding of our true identity as his kids, as God's children. And the Lord wants to unlock and give us the key to understanding our identity in Christ. He also said keys to supernatural wisdom and heavenly revelation. And so in this year, be seeking the Lord in your quiet time on ask him for the wisdom of heaven. And almost always the Lord does things differently than than the ways of the world. So it's going to seem strange or um, not conventional, but you can be sure that The Lord wants to release the wisdom and revelation of heaven and how to navigate your own personal life. What should I do in this situation, Lord? Ask him specifically how to how to move forward in a given situation, whether it's a spiritual or a physical, natural problem. And the Lord will release those keys to you. He also brought up healing of your spiritual and physical well-being that the Lord wants us free from shame and fear and doubt and just wounding. Um, And also he wants our bodies free. And so I believe from disease and sickness. So this is a year to ask the Lord for keys and to stand in the authority he gives us to find healing in our bodies and in our spirit. And lastly, the area he showed me was finances. He wants to give us the keys of heaven to take authority over our finances, to bring them under his, the way he prescribes it in scripture, and then to expect that the Lord would bless us and show us what to do with our finances. Um, He wants to open doors that the enemy has kept shut and kept things back from us, and he wants to us He wants to lead us to close doors that the enemy has had full access to our lives that he should not. So there's going to be a lot of opening of of things that have been held back and shutting down and closing up of things that should not have had access in the nation and in our lives. I hope this word encourages you and that you would just get alone with him and ask him for the specific keys that he has for your life and just be expectant and faith-filled and ready for him to hand those keys to you.